A microgrid system is a electrical control system for any unit of electrical consumption. So that could be for your house, for a building, or maybe even a college campus or an entire neighborhood or city. What makes that control system a microgrid is the ability to connect to electrical utility, which is very common, most buildings do that, but also the ability to disconnect and operate independently and, and autonomously from the electrical grid, but then move back and forth between being connected and disconnected when it's advantageous to do so, or perhaps when the local electrical utility has been lost, and to do it seamlessly. What ultimately led to the project of the microgrid R&D grant was a conversation with uh, Craig Collins, who ultimately ended up leading the project. In the hallway, I think we were waiting in the lunch line for an internal event and just kind of chit-chatting about this idea that the technology for on-site generation and on-site storage had reached a point where we could start thinking about this. What if buildings didn't need the grid, right, and all the different potential that that opens. I didn't really know that much about microgrids at the time. I just knew that I wanted to learn more, and the R&D program seemed like a great opportunity to do that, so I applied. It was this sort of this a phrase in the industry, but no real technical teeth to it. Like, nobody really knew what it was. Nobody really understood how to design it or what it really meant. There wasn't even, the codes weren't even caught up yet, even Within the electrical industry, there wasn't really terminology standardized yet. And so the idea for it was, let's figure this out. Like, let's, this is a, this is a really important idea. So the R&D research process did take better part of a, of a year, I believe, from when I applied to when I finished my final uh, paper and presentation. Most of my R&D process was technical paper reviews. I really just wanted to get a solid understanding of the technology behind what makes microgrids work. It's not so much that we need all of our buildings to be able to operate independently of the electrical grid, but what we really need is we need to decarbonize the electrical grid. And part of the way that we can do that is to have building control systems be smarter, to know what they're consuming, when they're consuming it and why and to know when they're able to produce their own electricity and then how that's, how that's accomplished, especially like low carbon renewable uh, electricity. I mean, the knowledge from the microgrid project is fundamentally changed how, how we're doing design and what we're bringing to projects. I'm, I, in hindsight, I'm, I'm glad we did it when we did it because um, it's put us in a position to, to bring that knowledge to a lot of projects I think one of the major impacts that the R&D grant has had on the way I design is that I get to do a lot of microgrid design work. <laughs> it's either leading projects that have microgrids or helping other lead engineers uh, design and uh, develop concepts for, for their building microgrid systems. So it's been really great to have the R&D process sort of springboard me forward into to this really active market that's just seeing tons of activity and tons of interest. And it's been great to see PAE being able to succeed in that marketplace and being able to be such a key part of it.